this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and I got an egg, yay! Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Esther, my Easter chicken, as well as Longbow, who just flew over there, and I'm also going to be joined by, who else we got running around here? We've got Ank55, we've got Elfa Lee, as always, and Afro Dan, so some new and uh, some familiar faces uh, joining us in this video. We've got the whole gang here, we've got loads of people, I love this. And we're basically, for the whole video, going to play a bunch of mini games. so we should hopefully have a lot of fun. But before that, we need to have our breakfast, and hopefully, uh, Elfa Lee's been upstairs baking us some cake! <gasps> nom nom! Nom, 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 nom. More, more Lee, more, more. Oh, that wasn't enough. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Two cakes. <laughs> you know you're starting a good day when you have two cakes for breakfast. Anyway, let's go and head over to the the love gun. Oh, no, actually, we need to hunt down um Henry. That's my new little game. Gotta play hide and seek. Hide and seek Henry's the game we play. And I used to be able. Oh, is he? Was he in? Is he in here? Oh no, oh no, I thought I'd got a glimpse of him in there. I, I'd have been amazed that he was actually inside his room. Yeah, I used to be able to, to follow the trails of snow, but I think he's literally explored every last corner. And here he is, all the way down here. <laughs> How you doing, Henry? Are you feeling a bit better? You are a bit grumpy in our Easter video, weren't you? Are you feeling better today? Well, he's looking at me, so I guess that's a, a good start. I think he's kind of a bit startled at all of these people just running down and staring at him. <laughs> anyway, let's go head over to the Love Garden. And then let's go and add someone to that. And then we can go and let the games begin. I love the energy. I love all of the people running around my house. It just feels so busy and lively. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Love Garden. And if you don't know what this is, by the way, basically at the beginning of all of my videos, I add someone to my Love Garden and give them a, a shout out for a variety of different reasons. And uh, today I am adding Mia Moosh. And uh, that's actually because he and uh, his sister, I believe, uh, sent me a really funny video where they're basically just doing a parody of how I start all of my videos videos and hi Longbow <laughs> and uh, yeah it's really funny they basically do like lip syncing over what I normally say and act it out and it's crazy it's absurd it's surreal but it's absolutely hilarious so I'm gonna leave uh, a link to that video in the description so thank you guys for making the video and welcome to my love garden oh there was something else I wanted to do I didn't want to sit on top of a lamp but <laughs> as long as Longbow's happy something that I did want to do is go and enchant my bow uh, because one of the games we're going to play today is the cat and mice mini game, and if you remember, it's a, a bit of a dangerous mini game, so I don't want to lose my level. So let's just go and uh, do a quick enchantment of my bow, just so I'm not wasting it. This one will do. Power three. I can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. There we go. So I've got a slightly better bow now. Uh, but there is a new mini game which none of you have seen before, uh, which we're going to go and play first, and we're actually going to play it to decide who's going to be the employee of the month at the Pretty Kitty Beauty Spa. So uh, I won't slam the door in your face. You can all come through yourself. Oh, I need to take a dog as well. Of course I need to take a dog. How did I forget about taking a dog with me? And uh, today I think I am going to take... Uh, let's take Barnaby. Let's take Barnaby with us today. And uh, Barnaby is, of course, the one with the famous red collar. And also, let's grab some pork chops as well, just in case he gets uh, a little bit peckish during uh, during the trip. There we go. Here's a, a bunch of pork chops for him as well from the, the pork chop and bone vending machine. My dogs live the life of luxury. <gasps> I need to get a cake vending machine in my room. We need to, we need to get on that, Lee. We need to, we need to start working on that. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, show you the... Um, whoa! Hi, Longbow. Um, yeah, let's go and show you the the mini game we're going to be playing first over here. And I only build it just for this video. Uh, it's not going to be here all the time. It's only temporary. Uh, but let me just quickly show you how it's going to work. It's basically a boat drag race. And uh, you can sit down here, Barnaby, and you can spectate. Actually, you can you can come up to the the top up here, and uh, then you're going to be able to to be able to see over the the race properly. So you can go and uh, stand up here somewhere, Barnaby, or you can just go and dive straight in the water. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is called the Pretty Kitty Boat Dash. And what we're going to do is we're all going to go and place boats down in the water down here, just where Barnaby's jumping up and down. And it's going to be the first person to the end of the track. And if I run along here, you can see there's a dip there. You've got to dodge these big red blocks of wool. Then you've got to go over this little water bridge. And at the end, you'll land down here in the pressure plate. And then, boom, the glowstone will come up uh, just to show who won. The only thing is... 
and it's a little bit dangerous and the boats have a tendency of shattering and so if your boat breaks at any point during the race you need to carry on but you just got to uh, walk and you can sit there Barnaby and get out the way because you're being very cheeky today and uh, let me go and grab myself a boat I'm going to grab two just in case one does uh, something does go wrong with the first one and uh, I'm going to go and take the end lane here because that's where the uh, the button is to start the race so does everyone want to hop in so you just need to place your boat in the water and then jump into it and then hopefully the the streams are going to kind of push you back like this and push you against the wall and then when I press the button water is going to come out the dispensers and then we can start I was going to have it so the boats are just placed on the ground but there's a glitch at the moment where if you sit in a boat on the ground you just sink through the floor so that wouldn't be much fun and thanks they're getting in position let's begin in three two one go let the boat the boat the boat dash commence right I think the trick is to go slow and steady because otherwise you might smash your boat and lose and I think I've got a good lead here look I'm way ahead of everyone else oh no longbow's coming up behind me I don't know why his head's dangling so low no no I hit the block I hit the block right I need to go over the bridge and can I make it to the end oh I just about got over and I think I'm gonna do it I managed to win oh no I think it was a draw I think it was a draw with me and Lee. We're both employees of the month. There's Ankh there coming in third. And what's happening? Our longbow looks so sad and depressed. Just floating up and down. I don't know what Dan's doing. Dan's still right at the very beginning of the race. I think he had trouble starting. <laughs> so we've got longbow and Dan yet to finish. And then Ankh uh, came in third. And me and Lee were joint first. <laughs> oh, what's up, Dan? He's having a bit of trouble. Oh, I don't think his thing worked. I don't think his starting mechanism and worked. That wasn't very fair. Um, oh, well, the longbow's got all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> that was ridiculous, right? You can get out now, Dan. You can get out the boat now if you want. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here and I've got a, a sign down in this chest as well. And I'm going to put down a sign saying that the employees of the month, uh, even though it probably wasn't very fair, the employees of the month uh, are going to be uh, Lee and me. So uh, I'm just going to write Lee and Stampy for now and then I can write the sign down properly. So Lee... Uh, where's a plus sign and uh, I just do stamps because I'm not sure if Stampy's going to fit in. Lee and Stamps, we are the employees of the month. Well done us, well done us. <laughs> and there we go, Dan's finally managed to get as well up the boat. I'm sorry Dan, I know that wasn't fair. Tell you what, maybe I could leave that game there, we could maybe have another go at it. Did any of you want to go? Did you want to go on the beautifier then Dan? Oh, uh, Ank, sorry. I don't think Ank's had a go yet. Right, hop in there and uh, shut the door. If I go over here and I press this button, it is going to beautify whatever is sitting inside of there. So hopefully, if I now turn the water off, Ankh is going to come out and look even more beautiful. And ooh! Ooh! It's basically dressed him all smart. He's wearing a tuxedo. That is a very nice look, Ankh. That suits you. Anyway, should we go over to the, the fun land then and play the new game? And, oh, what's happened here? Who broke the floor? <laughs> Who was playing with the glass? Who broke the floor? That's not very good. I think they're just throwing some blocks down for him so he can get out. Anyway, before we break everything, uh, should we go and head over to the fun land? Unless, unless anyone else wanted to be made beautiful. Did you want to be made beautiful, Longbow? Did you want to have a go? Yeah? I think he does, right? Hop in there and go and just stand right in the back of that room there. And I go over here, I press to beautify, and then hopefully it's going to turn Longbow extra, extra beautiful. And oh, I think he's swimming up. <laughs> right, let's turn that off. No, that's not how it's supposed to work. It's not a water ride, Longbow. And yeah, when you're ready, do you want to you wanna hop out? Oh, oh, well, beautiful isn't the word I would use, but you look... You look different. You look different, that's for sure. And anyway, we're running out of time here. We do have other games to play. What's happened? Why is it all getting broken? Right, let's go and try and take everyone away from my pretty kitty spa because they are just ruining it. <laughs> and let's go and head over to the uh, the cat and mice mini game. And as some of you may remember, I have played this game before, but it didn't work very well. Basically, what it is, is one cat and then everyone else is mice and they've got to run around and get the cheese while the cat tries to stop them. But it was way too easy for the mice and way too difficult for the cat. So we're going to switch it around and this time we're going to have two cats and three mice. So hopefully that way the, the, the game's going to be a lot more fun than it was before because basically the cats are going to have a chance this time which will <laughs> hopefully make the uh, yeah make the game a, a lot more fun. So uh, we're probably going to have uh, two rounds I guess. We can uh, take turns being the, the pair of cats and yeah we can just, uh, just see who's the best. We're not going to keep score. It's not going to be a proper tournament like the last time we did it. We're basically uh, just going to play it for fun because I had so much fun doing it last time and I just wanted an excuse to play it again so uh, we've got a slight rule change and uh, hopefully the uh, the game's going to be more fun but what we need to do first is oh 
No one's here. I realised I was totally talking to myself. I expected to turn around and see them all running behind me, but I think I got a little bit too eager and ran off, uh, ran off ahead a little bit too much. And so, yeah, what we all need to do... So we need to go down here into the little mouse hole first. And then if we all sleep in the, the beds down here, and we're going to eat some cake as well while they're not here. Yeah, so basically we sleep in the beds here to set our spawns. And so that way when we do get taken out by the uh, by the cat, then um, yeah, we're just going to respawn right here. So Barnaby, you can sit down there at the end of my bed. And I'm going to put all of my belongings in here. I'm going to take a little bit of bread on me in case I get peckish. And uh, there's a, a pork chop for you, Barnaby. Uh, but apart from that, I can leave all of my items in here. Otherwise, when we get taken out by the cats, there's just going to be blocks lying all over the place and where has everybody got to are they still playing around over by the pretty kitty spine oh god there's a creeper there and i realize i've just thrown away all of my weapons and there's more creepers right i don't actually know where everyone is uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to very quickly cut ahead into the video uh, once everyone has come and joined us over here and we can play uh, cat and mice Okay, here we go. Everyone's managed to, to make their way over to me. And so all we need to do now is why? How is there a pig in here? Where did that pig come from? I'm sure Ang just opened a chest and a pig just jumped out of it. <laughs> oh, damn. I mean, I've got some pork chops on me, but I haven't got an actual whole pig with me. Yeah, so if everyone just goes and jumps into bed quickly now. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I forgot to take off my, my iron boots, my stampy style boots. I'll put them in the chest. I and mean, we can all go and have a, a quick nap down here. And this will set our spawns. And so then in the morning, we can go and play the first game. So who wants to be the cat? first then i think i'm gonna have a go being a mouse for uh, at first who wants to be the cat what about do you want to be a cat lee and you dan as well would you like to be a cat you don't look much like a cat but <laughs> you can you can give it a go so if you grab a diamond sword out of there there should be there we go there's there's some spare diamond swords in there if you grab one of them and you need to run over to the middle of the maze and i know you haven't played this before dan uh, so if you just follow lee uh, he's gonna he's gonna show you where you need to go and be careful actually because there were creepers around here yep there's still creepers around here um, so yeah, everyone be careful. We do not want to blow up the maze. Right, he hasn't seen us. He's there staring at the wall, so he's not seen us yet. And if we all just go to uh, a corner, and so Lee and Dan need to go to the middle, we just all need to, to pick a side. And I'm going to do a countdown, and then we all run inside, and we're going to go and try and steal as much cheese as we can uh, while Lee and Dan need to stop us. And Dan, you're not allowed to jump on the walls. You can jump up uh, to look over the walls, and you can jump on the mouse traps, but you're not allowed to jump on the walls. And they seem to be ready. They're both there standing in the middle. So let's begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Okay, and we got gamer tags on this time, so it's probably going to be a little bit uh, easier for the cats even more because they can kind of see where we are through the maze. I'll actually turn them off after this and I managed to get one piece of cheese already it looks like Longbow managed to grab some as well but Alpha Lee is very close to me we do need to get more cheese because there's only three mice uh, it's more important for us to grab more than one piece of cheese I can see Dan running around over there oh Ank was slain by Lee Lee's already managed to take out one of the mice but there's still more cheese over there I can't leave without getting all the cheese right let me go and try and sneak into this side here and hopefully not get caught by any of the cats oh Alpha Lee's very close I don't know if he knows where I am if I crouch then he might not know where I am am i've done it i'm being sneaky oh no but dan's coming on the other side this is not good this is not good lee is just sitting there waiting and watching that cheese and oh no dan's found me run past him run past him i've got two hearts left can i get out can i get out can i get out the door i did it i managed to escape i didn't get that extra bit of cheese but i managed to get out with my life right, let's put down all the cheese here and let's see how many pieces we managed to get. I got a piece, and it looks like Longbow got a piece as well. I don't know if anyone else is still left running around in the maze. I can see Lee's come out as well. And oh no, I think we only managed to get... Oh no, I think we got... Uh, yeah, we got three pieces of cheese, I do believe. And oh no, Lee, no, we didn't. That was a piece of cheese that Lee managed to get. We only got two pieces of cheese. That was rather shameful, I must say. That was rather shameful for the, the mouse side. <laughs> right, let's have another go then. Let's have, um, let's have Longbow longbow and um we could do we could do longbow and me we, we could be the cat this time i reckon let's, let's let's give that a go and let's see how well we managed to to do that way i don't know where where ank is is, is ank still wandering around here somewhere i guess he's got to be around here somewhere so let's go put the cheese back and this time we're going to make it even harder for the cats because we're going to turn gamer tags off uh, because then that way we're not going to be able to to see through the the walls and uh, there's one more piece of cheese which is sitting up here which i'm gonna have to go and grab and go and put back in the maze oh uh, yeah do you want to throw that to me lee and i go and plonk that back in and then we can go and uh, have the the second go and just, just drop it there we go thank you and where, where, where's ang got to is ang round here is he still in the game he's got to be round here somewhere i can't even see where where, where where's ang managed to get to 
Hmm, I think we, we got a missing mouse. That's why we weren't able to get them all. We got a missing mouse. I have honestly no idea where Anx wandered off to. And oh no, I accidentally fell down the maze. I always get lost in this maze. Even though I built it, I always end up getting lost. Right, I think I need to put the, the final piece over here somewhere. If I go plonk it down, here we go, where, where Longbow's jumping up and down. And then, yeah, me and Longbow are going to be the, the cats this time. And uh, all of the others are going to be the, the mice running around the place. And have I gone the wrong way again? Have I gone the wrong way? No, here we go. If I go through this way, there we go. I can get to the uh, the mouse trap, and we can plonk that down here. Right, so let, let's all go and meet over by the, the cheese stand. And uh, we need to try and find where, where Ank's gone and wandered off to. I don't know where he is. <laughs> right, what I might do is I might just go and try and teleport him to me. Because I don't know if he's gone for a wander. If I go uh, teleport to me me and oh oh yeah there, there we go if i teleport him to me is he gonna appear here um anchor's teleported to stuff oh is he invisible i think he might have turned invisible oh okay well this is gonna be difficult <laughs> anchor's turned invisible so Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to try and see when the cheese disappears. Let's give it a go anyway. This is gonna be extra difficult then, I guess. <laughs> oh, there's Ank hitting me. Try try breaking a block, Ank. Try and break, uh, break a block. I can see, yeah, the ground going up. Ank has actually turned invisible. Fantastic. I think if you kill yourself, Ank, or if someone kills you, then when you respawn, you might come back, you might come back normal. Uh, so maybe if, if someone with one of the, the diamond swords wants to try and take him out, <laughs> they're all just swinging wildly. They have no idea where he is. Well, careful, Lombo. You nearly got me there. <laughs> oh, dear. Were, were, were they able to take him out? Has he respawned down here? There's a glitch at the moment with the game where sometimes people have a tendency of turning invisible. And so I guess that's what that's what's, what's happened. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, Dan, do you want to throw me the diamond sword? Because I'm going to be the, the cat next. And then, yeah, Longbow, if you keep that diamond sword as well, because you're going to be the other cat. No, you can't have an... The, the mice aren't allowed to fight back, Dan. Right, I think Ang might be just drowning himself down here. I can't see him, but I can hear him, and that's good enough for me. So hopefully, uh, when he respawns, he's going to be visible again. Let's go and hop down here. There we go. There is Ang, still looking beautiful. We missed you, Ang. We missed you. Right, anyway, let's go and play another game then, shall we? Uh, so as I said, I'm going to go and turn gamer tags off. So if I go setting, uh, is it options? Gamer tags. There we go. I've, I've turned gamer tags off, so now uh, I'm not going to be able to see anyone. And me and Longbow need to try and make our ways to the the centre of the maze. And it's going to be a lot harder now because gamer tags are off. It's going to be very hard for us to to find them. But I like it. I like the challenge. And seeing as I am pretending to be a cat, and I am a cat, I do always have that that extra advantage. So uh, hopefully everyone's ready on all of the different sides. Uh, I'm going to go and stand at the top of Longbow so I can see. And so let's begin round number two in three. Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, let's try and see which which way they're entering from. I think I can see someone down here, and I'm not allowed to jump on the walls. I nearly did there. And let's go and head this way. Let's see if I can go and catch someone. Oh, here's Lee. Here's Lee. I can go go after him. He was a cat last time. He is now a mouse, and he is running, but the cat is on the prowl. Oh, I'm going to get him. You're not allowed to leave. If you leave, Lee, you're not allowed to come back in, so you've got to stay inside the maze. He is just running. There we go. We can trap him. We can track him long. Right, you go after Lee. I'm going to go after and try and find someone else then, I guess. I think Longbow should be able to get Lee. Oh, I can see here, Dan. Dan, you're not allowed to use the diamond sword. You... <laughs> there we go. I managed to get. I managed to get a piece of cheese. I managed to grab uh, a piece of cheese. Lee is still alive. Lee has still managed to stay alive. I don't know how. He's very a very slippery mouse, managing to stay alive. We might be able to to trap him here though if we go either side. And there we go. Lee was slain by Longbow, so that's two mice down. The only mouse left is Ang. Oh no, Ang's left the maze. Ang's left. So that's everyone. We managed to take everyone out. Then I guess we were very. Very good cats. Let's see how much cheese they got. So if everyone places all their cheese down on the cheese stand and we can see uh, how much they managed to get. I think they might have only got one piece of cheese to be honest, if any. I think Ank was the only mouse to get away alive. They managed to get one cheese just by his whiskers. <laughs> oh, you did very much. We have one more go then because that's so much fun and because Ank hasn't had a go being a cat yet. If you take that diamond sword and let's have... Who else wants to be a cat? Jump up and down if you want to be a cat. It's up to you. Anybody want to be a cat? There we go. So Dan wants to be a cat as well. So if you take that diamond sword there, and then we can have uh, Dan and uh, Ank are going to be the cats, and uh, everyone else is going to be the, the mice. Oh, has Dan not got permissions? Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. He does. He does. Okay, so um, let me go and put my diamond sword down here, because I don't want to cheat. And sorry, Barnaby, I know you're just sitting down here. You might be getting a bit bored, but I know how protective you are over me, so it's probably not a good idea if you run around. All right, let's just go and num, 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 have some cake. Now, if we go and put all of the, the cheese back in the, in the maze, uh, then that way 
Oh yeah, we can go and have the, the final game. And is Longbow trying to tell me something? Um, there's a hole here? And I'm getting hit. Is there someone else invisible? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I think oh, there's someone else has turned invisible. Why does this keep happening? Well, whoever's invisible, if you quickly drown yourself, then we can go and uh, start the, 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 the final game. So let's go and um, uh, put this cheese over here. Oh, no, I fell down again. It's always annoying. I've got to go run around properly. I might just come out here and climb up again. Then I can uh, jump over to, to go and try and get the, the cheese back. And then we can go and have the, the, fast, uh, the, the last little final game. So, so far... The mice have been doing not very well, and they always did so well last time, but they've been they've been struggling this time. All right, so I'm going to very quickly run inside and grab some some more food, and then we can go and begin the the the, the final game, I guess. All right, let me just go and grab uh, one more piece of bread just so I don't get hungry. I guess Lee was the the person who turned invisible this time. Wait, where is he going to appear? He should appear, hopefully, just somewhere in this room. Where is he? Where is he? Has he appeared? Has he already run off somewhere? And Barnaby, how did you get over here? Barnaby's been been moving. You stay down there, Barnaby. You behave yourself. And oh no, he's still invisible. Okay, we're just going to have to do it with an invisible mouse. It's going to be extra hard then this time, I guess. <laughs> right, let me just go and throw that block down there. And let's go and have the, the final go then, shall we? So if everyone goes and picks a corner, it looks like Longbow's over there. I'm going to go and uh, pick this corner uh, I go right to the, the far side so Lee can pick that one. And let's go and do the, the final game of Cat and Mice. So we will begin in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Right, all I want to do is try and get some cheese and get out of here. Right, the challenge is I want to get all five pieces of cheese. I'm not going to try and leave the maze until I'm sure we've managed to get all five pieces. I am not going to be a coward this time. I'm going to be a brave kitty cat and I try and get them all. Oh, no, sorry. I'm going to be a brave mouse this time. I'm going to be a mighty mouse. <laughs> and I'm going to go and try and get all all of the pieces of the cheese. To be honest, I'm already kind of forgetting who the who the um uh, the cats are. To be honest, I guess if if ever I see someone with a diamond sword, that's going to be a good sign that they're going to be a cat. And Lee's invisible anyway. No, no, there's someone right there. There's so they know where I am. They're trying to hit me over the walls. Oh no, they are. Oh no, they hit me over the walls. That's not good. That is not good. Run out of here. Let's get away. Let's get away. Hopefully they're not chasing me. I'm going to have a little bit of to eat. And oh no, they managed to get me. I wasn't a very good mouse. To be fair. That's the only time I've ever died playing this game. So I am out. I have failed. I am done. It uh, looks like Lee managed to get three pieces of cheese. I don't know why he placed them there rather than there. But <laughs> to be fair, that isn't particularly remarkable seeing as he was invisible. You would expect him to do so. And oh no, it looks like Lombo got some moldy cheese over there. That cheese has gone blue with mold. <laughs> Oh dear. So that will be the, the final game here. I don't I don't think anyone else is running around. All of the, the mouse have uh, got out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I love playing this game, so I'm sure we're going to play it uh, at some point again in the future. Uh, so I just wanted to end, as I always do, by saying a big thank you to all of you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all later. Bye!